More local news now. Milwaukee police still looking for the person or the people who fired the bullets that killed baby Bill Tao at 73rd and Mill Road over the weekend. Area pastors are pleading for an end to gun violence. Julia Fellow live with more on this story. Julia. <laughs> And good evening to you both. The news conference just wrapped up behind me. More than two dozen pastors gathered. They say that they're fed up with the senseless violence that's taken the lives of innocent children, and they plan to take back their neighborhoods block by block. On one hand, we want to protest about what others are doing to us in our community, and we should protest that. We should be mad about people who are doing us wrong, but we should also be upset about what we're doing to each other. And that's what we're here, amen. amen. So that's what we're here to talk about today because we're gonna have families in here today who are hurting because they have had loved ones who have been murdered in this city and most of that murdering has been done by us. More than a dozen pastors gathered calling on every church in Milwaukee to take part in the Adopt-A-Block program, working po with police, pastors, plan to go out of their churches and into the streets to get to know their neighbors. They say they'll start by just picking up garbage and saying hello to build relationships with the community to get the violence away and out of their neighborhoods. That violence killed two innocent children inside Milwaukee homes, both according to police believed to be a case of mistaken identity. The latest gun violence victim is Vivi Bill Tao, the one-year-old was struck by gunfire while playing inside a relative's home over the weekend. Five-year-old Layla Peterson was struck in the head while sitting on her grandfather's lap back in November. A candlelight vigil is expected to take place inside the church behind me. The doors have just opened at 5.30. We plan to go inside. It's dedicated to all the lives lost due to senseless gun violence this past year. Sheriff David Clark is expected to attend, so we'll bring you the latest live at 6. Reporting live on Milwaukee's north side, Julia Fellow, today's TMJ4. All right, Julia, thanks. See you in a bit.